Childhood obesity is a rapidly growing problem in the United States, and one of our best tools for treating obesity in adults is bariatric surgery. So should this procedure become common in kids as well? Recently released guidelines suggest that it should. Do we agree? This is Healthcare Triage News. In the United States, 4.5 million children are affected by severe obesity, which is defined as having a body mass index that is 120% above the 95th percentile for age and sex. Based on a comprehensive review of the literature, the American Academy of Pediatrics released a report at the end of October calling for better access to bariatric surgery for adolescents with severe obesity. According to the report, treatments aimed at modifying lifestyle are associated with short-term success in less severe cases of obesity, but current data do not demonstrate long-term success in cases of severe obesity. Data on metabolic and bariatric surgery suggest that this practice is both safe and effective in youth, but that access may be limited, particularly in underserved populations. This may be due in part to insurance, which rarely covers the procedure for individuals under 18 years of age. It might also be partly due to low referral rates from primary care providers, something these new guidelines may help to address. Specifically, the report recommends that severe obesity be recognized as a high-risk condition that is unlikely to be resolved with medical or lifestyle treatment alone, and that surgery be considered for affected youth. They recommend a shared decision-making process with patients, family, and surgical teams that takes into account patient autonomy, values, family support, emotional and physical maturity, and an understanding of the short and long-term implications. It also recommends the procedure be done in facilities that can provide both pediatric and family-specific care and support prior to and after surgery, along with education on the surgical procedures. And finally, they recommend that the procedure be authorized by health insurance for all children who meet the criteria, regardless of income, race, ethnicity, or other factors that may contribute to disparities in care. So what do healthcare experts think about this? Our colleague, Dr. Erica Chang, is a health services researcher who focuses on life course determinants of obesity in women and children. Her view is that while bariatric surgery is an intense and invasive procedure, for some children, it's also their only option. However, she doesn't think surgery should be the only solution, particularly considering that severe obesity disproportionately affects low-income minorities who are less likely to have adequate access to the procedure. She also points out that we need to have a serious conversation at the policy level about why we're having to consider surgery as an option in the first place. As she puts it, and I'm quoting, the question has become, how do we treat this problem, when the question should be, why does the problem exist? In most cases, when it comes to big public health issues, we really focus on prevention, not on how to fix it. We probably should be doing the same with obesity. Hey, if you enjoyed this episode, you might enjoy this other episode on how exercise is not the key to weight loss. It also helps if you like and subscribe down below and go to patreon.com slash healthcare triage, where you, like our research associate Joe Sevitz and our surgeon Admiral Sam, can help make the show bigger and better.